The Russian Foreign Ministry says North European stability would be jeopardised by the possible accession of Finland and Sweden to NATO, which are now considering applying for membership. It's no secret that the territories of these states have long been claimed by NATO, with large-scale military exercises being held there. The motives of the alliance are clear, but it's unclear why our Baltic region neighbours Finland and Sweden want to turn into a new frontier of confrontation between the NATO bloc and Russia. The negative consequences for peace and stability in Northern Europe are obvious. Earlier, Moscow also stated that if that accession does happen, Russia will have to reinforce the Baltic Sea region by deploying nukes in its European exclave Kaliningrad in order to restore, in order to quote, restore the balance. NATO expansion goes against Russian security concerns, which were highlighted during talks before the war in Ukraine began, but were dismissed by Western powers. Well, during the Cold War, these countries, alongside Austria, Ireland and Switzerland, decided not to join uh, political and military alliances. However, in the 1990s, all neutral states became a part of NATO's Partnership for Peace program, which allows them to cooperate militarily and peacefully with the bloc, but without full membership. The governments of Sweden and Austria now claim things have changed due to the war in Ukraine, and they are reconsidering their position. The European security architecture have changed fundamentally after Russia's invasion of Ukraine. We have deepened our NATO partnership until now, hand in hand with Sweden, ever since Russia illegally annexed Crimea. There is no other way to have security guarantees than under NATO's deterrence and common defence as guaranteed by NATO's Article 5. We discussed the issue with geopolitical strategist and diplomacy consultant to the US Department of State, John Sitalides, who thinks the Nordic states are unlikely to join NATO in the near future. Even if Sweden and Finland both submit their applications in time for the Madrid summit this June, uh, the process will still take anywhere from 4 to 12, maybe 18 months uh, for NATO to decide whether to accept them. And that has to be done unanimously. I don't think it would be dangerous for Russia in any meaningful way. I mean, right now there are NATO troops in the Baltic countries and in Poland across the border from Belarus. And so I don't think there's any significant escalation of tension in the region. Sweden doesn't border Russia at all. So there's no direct issue there. Finland, of course, has a very lengthy border of more than 800 miles with Russia. But uh, NATO troops will definitely be stationed in those countries on probably a sort of rapidly deployable but rotating task force. I don't envision any significant new NATO basing or military deployments in those countries. That would take time and would largely depend on the scale and scope of any Russian reaction.